Today, a serious and little-known incident involving Taiwan's most ambitious naval project has come to light, raising important questions about submarine safety, testing transparency, and the real challenges of indigenous defense programs. During recent sea trials, Taiwan's first domestically built submarine, Hai Kun, reportedly suffered a complete hydraulic system failure that temporarily left the vessel without powered steering control. According to an exclusive report by Taiwanese outlet Mirror Media, the incident occurred during the submarine's second sea trial and quickly escalated into a potentially dangerous situation at sea. Hai Kun, designated SS-711, is the lead submarine of Taiwan's Indigenous Defense Submarine Program, a flagship initiative developed by CSBC Corporation Taiwan with direct support from the Republic of China Navy. The program is considered a cornerstone of Taiwan's long-term naval strategy, aimed at strengthening undersea deterrence capabilities amid growing regional tensions. However, during this particular sea trial, all hydraulic systems reportedly failed at once, rendering the submarine's advanced X-shaped stern rudder completely inoperable. This rudder configuration, commonly seen on modern submarines, is designed to improve maneuverability, stability, and stealth, but it relies heavily on hydraulic power for precise control. A person serving aboard Haikun told Mira Media that the incident turned the situation critical within moments. With the hydraulic system down, the X-shaped rudder could no longer turn, leaving the submarine unable to maneuver under normal powered control. According to the source, the crew had to fall back on the last resort emergency procedure, manual steering. Inside the stern steering gear compartment, sailors lined up and took turns physically cranking the rudder control mechanisms by hand. One crew member would operate the controls until exhaustion, then another would step in, repeating the process continuously to maintain some level of directional control. This manual effort, combined with external assistance, ultimately prevented an accident. During the ordeal, two tugboats accompanying Haikun were forced to intervene more aggressively than planned. These tugs reportedly applied controlled pushing force to the submarine's bow, helping influence its direction and preventing potential collisions with other vessels, while the crew worked to partially restore rudder movement through sheer human strength. According to the insider, the submarine had departed port running on battery power when the hydraulic failure occurred, leaving it moving straight ahead with the rudder effectively locked. In such conditions, even minor course corrections become extremely difficult, especially for a large, newly built submarine undergoing its early trials. The X-shaped tail rudder had reportedly been a major design focus during Hai Kun's construction, precisely because steering failures are among the most dangerous scenarios for submarines. For that reason, the submarine was designed with multiple layers of redundancy beyond its primary hydraulic system. A person familiar with the submarine's design explained that modern submarines typically use several independent hydraulic pumps, often powered by separate electrical sources or auxiliary diesel engines. In theory, if one system fails, backup circuits should immediately take over. If all hydraulic power is lost, the final safeguard is mechanical manual control, requiring crew members to physically operate the rudder through gears, linkages, or cable systems. In this case, that final safeguard appears to have worked, but only with significant physical effort and external assistance, highlighting how close the situation may have come to becoming far more serious. In response to the report, Taiwan's Navy command acknowledged that the incident occurred, but emphasized that all procedures were followed and that the situation remained under control. Officials stated that Hai Kun sea trials are conducted with the goal of identifying problems, correcting them, and gradually strengthening system tuning and defect improvements. The Navy also stressed that the submarine's control systems are designed with multiple layers of redundancy, including automatic, semi-automatic, and manual operation modes. According to the official statement, the crew's actions during the incident were carried out according to established procedures and remained within safety limits. After returning to port, the Navy said that corrective actions were completed and that Hai Kun's systems are now operating normally. 
officials did not disclose specific technical details about what caused the hydraulic failure, nor did they confirm whether the incident could affect the overall testing schedule. Publicly, CSBC Corporation Taiwan had previously stated that the second sea trial met its expected objectives and that the program would move forward towards submerged testing and deeper water trials after adjustments and preparations. However, the account provided by insiders paints a far more intense and risky picture of what actually happened at sea. It is important to note that sea trials are, by design, meant to uncover exactly these kinds of weaknesses before a submarine enters operational service. Many of the world's most advanced submarines have faced serious technical issues during early testing phases. Still, the complete loss of hydraulic control on a brand new submarine underscores the complexity and difficulty of developing indigenous undersea platforms from scratch. As Taiwan pushes forward with its submarine program, incidents like this highlight both the courage of the crews conducting these trials and the immense technical challenges involved. The success of Haikun will not be measured solely by its launch, but by how effectively such problems are identified, corrected, and prevented in future boats of the class. For more in-depth military analysis, hidden defense stories, and real-world insights into modern warfare and military technology, make sure to subscribe to Mighty Military. Stay informed, stay analytical, and stay ahead with Mighty Military.